with 4a cubed times a to the fourth minus 5a squared minus 2a. Okay, let's distribute this in. And when we distribute, we're going to take the coefficient 4 times the coefficient in front of each term. And what's in front of that is just a 1, so 4 times 1 is 4. And the a to the third times a to the fourth. When you're multiplying like bases, you add the exponents. So that's going to be a to the seventh. Okay, a times a to the third times negative 5a squared is going to give me, well, 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. So there's my coefficient. And then remember the rule for exponents. We're going to multiply the a's, but we're going to add the exponents. So that's a to the fifth. 3 and, five, uh, 3 and 2 is 5. And then the last one is 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. And then a to the third times a to the, and that's a first. You can write the one there if that helps. And that's a to the fourth. Okay? So that is how you would distribute and find the product of a monomial times this trinomial. Multiply the coefficients and then add the exponents. Okay, so there's a monomial. What happens if we have binomials? So let's take 5x plus 1 times x minus 8. Now you should have learned this in middle school. This is just a binomial times a binomial, and we use the acronym FOIL to remember how to multiply this. We take the first terms and multiply them, so 5x times x, and 5x times x, that's 5 times 1 is 5, and x to the first times x to the first, remember that's x squared because I'm adding exponents. And then my O stands for outer, so I'm going to take the 5x times the negative 8. So 5x times negative 8 for the outside is negative 40x. Now let's multiply for the i for FOIL. That's the inner terms. So I have a positive 1 times x, which is plus 1x, or just plus x. I'm going to put the 1 there just to represent that 1 for a minute. And then positive 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. Okay, so I end up with four terms, but if you'll notice, the two middle terms combine. Negative 40x plus 1x, that's negative 39x. So let's bring that down so we have 5x squared minus 39x minus 8. And that is how you find the product of two binomials. We use the acronym FOIL and the first, first, outer, inner, last, to find the product. Okay, so that's a binomial times a binomial. Now let's look at a binomial times a trinomial. Okay, so bi means we have two terms, so that's what n plus 1 is, a binomial. And then we're going to have a trinomial, n squared plus 4n my, uh, plus 5. So this is what, number six? So we're on number six. Okay, so now let's look at what would you do with this one? Well, it's very similar to FOIL, only, only you have another term here. So it's, sometimes it's easier just to think about distributing. I'm going to take this first term n, and I'm going to distribute it to each of the terms in the trinomial. So n times n squared gives me n cubed. n times positive 4n gives me positive 4n squared. n times 5 gives me positive 5n. Okay, so I'm done distributing the n. Now let's distribute this positive 1. And again, we're going to distribute it to each term. Now I do this a little bit differently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take each term and I'm going to try to line it up under its like term to make adding easier. So positive 1 times n squared. That's going to give me 1n squared. Well, my like term is 4n squared, so I'm going to line it up underneath that one. And then 1 times 4n gives me positive 4n, and again, those are like terms. And then 1 times 5 is a positive 5. Now when I go to add these, they're all lined up with my like terms. So I'm going to add my n squared, or n cubed, it doesn't have anything to add with. Okay, 4n squared and 1n squared is 5n squared. And then 4n plus 5n is 9n. 
and bring down the 5. Now remember, when you're adding, you don't change the exponents. We just add like terms. So there is our final answer. And notice when we take a binomial times a trinomial, this one we ended up with four terms, okay? A polynomial. So there's number 6. Now let's go back, and if you need to watch that again, you can. Okay, let's look at number 7. This is the one we're starting to get kind of fancy here. We've got an x minus 4 times x plus 5. So we have a binomial times a binomial. Then we're going to subtract 2x squared times x minus 1. And this one's a monomial times a binomial. So what we're going to do is we're going to first treat it like two separate problems. So I'm not going to deal with this part. I'm just going to FOIL the first part. So let's FOIL this. We're going to get x times x is x squared. Outer is positive 5x. Inner is negative 4x. And last is negative 20. Okay? So there's the first part. Now I'm going to distribute this negative 2x squared into x minus 1. Well, make sure you bring this negative with it, okay, because that sign is negative. So negative 2x squared times x, all we do is add that exponent of 1, right? So it's negative 2x cubed, and then negative 2x squared times negative 1. Negative times a negative is a positive 2x squared. Okay, now I'm going to add my like terms, and I'm going to get everything in descending order. So let's look at it. What is my highest exponent? What's well, this one? It's the cube. So I'm going to bring it down. But when you bring it down, be careful. Bring the negative with it. So you have negative 2x cubed as your first term. Okay, I like to cross it out to make sure I know that's accounted for. Now I've got an x squared here and a 2x squared there. So I'm adding. So that's 3x squared. And then I have a 5x minus 4x. So that's going to be positive 1x or positive x, and that deals with those two, and then I just have a minus 20. So there we go. That is what the binomials and that monomial distributed in simplifies to negative 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus x minus 20. Okay, so let's do one more of these kind of fancy problems. I threw in number 8. Number 8 is a binomial times a binomial. So we have n minus 2 times n minus 3. And then we're going to add to it. So we don't have to worry about our signs so much on this one because this one's adding n m minus 5 and m plus 5. Okay, so we're going to FOIL here, get that answer. And then we're going to FOIL here, get that answer, and then we're going to add the two answers together. So let's take one part at a time. Let's do the, two, the m minus 2, m minus 3 first. So foiling it, I get m squared, outer, minus 3m, inner, minus 2m, negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 6. So there's my first one. Now let's foil this part. m times m is m squared plus 5m for my outer, minus 5m for my inner, and then minus 25. Okay, before we get to simplify anything, what do you notice about these two terms? Positive m, 5m, and negative 5m. They're just going to become 0, so they cancel each other out. Okay, so let's bring down what we have left. Okay, over here on the left, we have m squared. And then we have a negative 3 and a negative 2m. Negative 3m, negative 2m is negative 5m. Same sign you add. And then bring this 6 down. And then from the back, all we have is an m squared and a minus 25 because these canceled. Okay? So now we can add our like terms of each group. So now we have m squared and m squared. Well, we're adding, so all we do is add the coefficients. So this is 1m squared, and that's a 1m squared, so I have 2m squared. Negative 5m, and this one doesn't have that middle term anymore because they canceled out, so I'm just going to bring it down. And then I have a positive 6 and a negative 25, which is negative 19. And there's our answer. So that's how you would simplify those. Okay, the only catch is just be careful if this is subtraction, once you FOIL it out, you're going to have to distribute the negative into that answer. Okay, 